and through boot and punt, which will pack on. They have the ball, and it's quarterback Vin Giordano extending the play to avoid the sack, and he finds Shea Bongiovanni, who makes the circus catch for 11 yards and a first down to 25. Wow, great concentration there. But on third and long on the same drive, watch James Roberts of Booten track down Vin Giordano for the sack, and the Chiefs have to punt. Alpaca and whoever gets the ball back, watch the Chiefs pressure the quarterback, and it's Kyle Dixon of Alpaca on the tip drill with the interception for the Chiefs, and it's first and 10 Alpaca at the 49. Second quarter we go, no score, and watch Vin Giordano of Alpaca off the boot, avoid the tackler, and make the fake, and he takes off eight yards, and it's an Alpaca first down at the boot and 11. Then it's Jake Wilkerson rumbling right up the middle as he brings the Chiefs inside the five. The Chiefs cap the drive here. Watch Vin Giordano keep it himself with a one-yard score. And Opacon has a 7-0 lead over the Bombers with the Liberty Division title on the line. Putin has a very quick answer, however. Watch Josh Smith take the dive right up the middle. And he goes 48 yards for the touchdown. But the PAT is no good. And Opacon holds a 7-6 lead at the half. Okay, third quarter we go, and Booten is putting together a drive, and watch this great effort by Gage Cavalar. Watch him move the pile like a rugby scrum for 10 yards and a first down at the Opacon 11. Then it's Quinn Sweeney bullying his way to the Opacon 4 for the 11-yard game for the Bombers. And then watch Cavalar here take it in from a yard out, and after the two-point conversion, Booten has a 14-7 lead with 3.21 left in the third quarter. Okay, fourth quarter action, same score, and watch Putin's defense come up with a big play here on the strip in the recovery, but the Bombers could not score. We move the fourth quarter action, and Opacon is moving the ball, but faces a fourth and one, and the Chiefs convert, watch Jake Dorman with the hard run, and it's a first and 10 at the Booten 21 for Opacon. And the Chiefs score here, watch Vin Giordano roll out and find a wide open Rob Giuliano, who takes it in for the touchdown, and the Chiefs trail 14-13 with 1.23 left in the game. What a ball game. And just like last week, Opacon coach Jerry Venerino goes for two and the win, and the Chiefs get it. Watch Vin Giordano fight his way into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and Opacon has a 15-14 lead. Oh boy. And Opacon seals the deal and a share of the Liberty Division with Booten as Giordano makes the interception as Opacon sons Booten 15-14 to win their first title since 2005. It feels amazing, just absolutely amazing playing with my family. They're just my team and I love them. It's, it's amazing. It's, uh, it's a milestone, something we've been looking forward to. Um, not only did we win this title, but we got most interceptions in school history right now. We, we, uh, we did it last year and we got one more, we got one more this year. And uh, we broke it last year and happened again this year. Any time that you could win a division title uh, in a game like this, this magnitude, uh, Booten, you know, Coach Gallagher over there has a good bunch of kids, well coached. Um, you know, they both played hard to, to make it go down to the very end and go for two in that type of fashion. And you know, that's exciting. It's an exciting high school football game. On top of it, to win a division title, especially for us, that's uh, only the second time in school history that we've won a league title. So it, it's pretty neat, pretty cool. I'm happy for our program. It was a big one. How about you guys stepping up on a big stage here to, to pull off a victory? How good do you feel as a coach? <clears throat> well, you know, we stressed all week to, uh, hey, you know, we say big players make big plays in big games. Uh, they knew the magnitude of the game. They knew it was a big one. Um, you know, they had one heck of a practice, again, all week long. Um, you know, they grinded everybody from scout team to coaches to the players on the field. You know, everyone did their assignment. They, they played hard tonight and they fought to the very end. How about the two-point conversion to put you guys ahead there? Uh, close to the goal line there, how good did that feel? It felt awesome. I couldn't do it without the line's push. The line did an amazing job all night getting the push for our running backs and myself and um, couldn't ask for a better line or a better team. Uh, second time in school history you guys have ever won this. How good does that feel for you? It's, um, it's awesome because, you know, we didn't make state playoffs, but we made the best of what we got. A tough team, Booten. Uh, what can you guys learn from this from this win and, and move on to next week? We just need to work hard every day, get on that grind. Work hard during practice. That's what we got. That's what we got to do. Um, last week we worked. This actually, we we grinded real hard the past two weeks. The past two weeks we came on top. It was by short, but you know what? We grinded hard and we emphasized hard practices. And we, when we practiced hard, our scout gave us a great look and uh, we executed.